Natalie Liu, The No Contact Rule. Breakups are never easy, and the digital age has only made them more challenging. In The No Contact Rule, Natalie Liu explores the benefits of completely cutting off communication with your ex-partner and offers tips to achieve it. This book summary will prepare you for an emotional journey, as Liu explains why staying in touch can hinder your healing process and lead to unhealthy dynamics. Discover why going no contact can be crucial in overcoming your past relationship, learn the common scenarios that call for it, and find out how to successfully go no contact while co-parenting. The Art of Breaking Up When a couple breaks up, severing communication entirely is the healthiest way to move on. Technology and social media have made it more challenging for people to go through a clean breakup. As a result, many people stay in contact with their exes, hoping for a reconciliation, filling their need for affection, or feeling obligated to respond out of kindness. However, none of these reasons justifies remaining in touch with an ex. Any communication that attempts to keep a broken relationship alive undermines the boundaries that the breakup set. Cutting all communication with an ex-partner is the only way to make a clean break, maintain your self-respect, and show that your boundaries must be respected. Going no contact, a shortcut to healing. We often wish breakups could be as mature and hassle-free as some couples make it seem. But the truth is, most breakups are far from it. Going no contact is a shortcut to closure and a strategy to help you heal. It gives you the distance you desperately need to recover mentally, emotionally, and physically from the breakup trauma. If you're still in touch with your ex and facing one of three common scenarios, being kept on standby, getting mixed messages, or having low self-esteem, it's time to go no contact. This pause in communication is an incentive to reflect on and correct bad communication habits that might have plagued your relationship, not a punishment for your ex. And who knows, they might benefit too. Going no contact, the ultimate breakup plan. If you want to break up with someone without getting hurt yourself and prolonging an unhealthy dynamic, going no contact is the way to go. With planning and discipline, it can be quite easy. However, it requires a bit of prep work. You should clearly communicate that things are over, resolve any outstanding issues, and arrange for an exchange of possessions before you cut contact. Then, make it as hard as possible for your ex to reach you, and vice versa delete their number, mute notifications, and block them across all social media platforms. Going no contact also means no physical contact, including breakup sex. Avoid reaching out on anniversaries and don't ask mutual friends to pick sides. Though it may be strict, going no contact can help you find closure within three to six months. Co-parenting and no contact, a tricky balancing act. Co-parenting after a breakup can be challenging, especially when you'd rather never hear from your ex again. However, instituting a no contact period while co-parenting is not only possible, but it can be hugely beneficial for both parties and the child involved. The key is to limit communication to only child-related topics and maintain a consistently polite and civil tone. By doing so, you'll spare your child the angst and confusion that often comes with drama between co-parents. Remember that having two loving co-parents is what matters most for your child's well-being. Breaking free from toxic communication have you ever found yourself in a relationship where you and your partner engage in toxic communication cycles? Maybe you threaten to leave during fights yet never follow through, or your partner behaves badly, yet you forgive them anyway. If so, it's time to break free from this pattern. The key message is to employ no contact to end toxic communication patterns. This strategy works by cutting off communication entirely for a longer period than you've previously done. This approach helps to break the toxic cycle that has been entrenched in your relationship. Your partner will not take you seriously until they realize that you mean business. When this happens, they're most likely to reach out to you. However, your reaction is vital, show them that you've learned to say what you mean and reiterate your boundaries. This approach can free you from toxic communication forever. No contact, a healing journey. 
A breakup is a loss that requires processing, and no contact creates the space needed for this healing process. However, it's not going to be easy. Expect to face your pain and overcome grief's five stages, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. Only by completing each stage without contacting your ex can you reach the final stage of acceptance and move on stronger than ever before. Making no contact work. Breaking up is hard, and often people struggle with sticking to the no contact rule. This summary provides strategies to help individuals stick to the rule and move on. To maintain no contact, it's important to take things day by day, vent through writing or music, remind oneself of the reasons for the breakup, take a break from dating and drinking, and fill up their calendar with activities that they enjoy. It's important to avoid the nostalgia trap and the temptation of rebounds. By following these strategies, individuals can successfully make no contact work and move on with their lives. Embracing singlehood, the power of no contact. After a breakup, going no contact can do wonders for your personal growth and future relationships. This summary explores how no contact provides an opportunity to rediscover your authentic self and build a fulfilling life centered around your passions and loved ones. No longer consumed by your ex, you can create a new routine and social life that reflect your individual needs and desires. Through saying yes to new experiences and honoring your independence, you lay the foundation for the best and most rewarding relationship of your life, with yourself. In conclusion, the no contact rule highlights the importance of severing ties completely with your ex-partner for a more efficient healing and growth process. By adopting the no contact strategy, both parties will have the opportunity to reflect and recover from the relationship healthily. Lou underscores the need for consistent discipline and commitment to this path and offers a myriad of practical approaches to make it work in various scenarios. Ultimately, the no-contact approach paves the way for a deeper understanding of oneself, fostering healthier habits in future relationships. Embrace your opportunity to grow and become the best version of yourself.